while some states are known to have a variety of venomous snakes covering an assortment of species, the state of California only has one kind of venomous snake, the rattlesnake. Dangerous and deadly, the rattlesnakes that reside in the Golden State are certainly nothing to take lightly. Not limited to rural and or mountainous areas, rattlesnakes have even been known to appear near major cities, such as Los Angeles and San Diego. Emerging during what is known as the quote-unquote California snake season, the six venomous snakes in California appear during the spring season and remain active throughout the summer before returning during the heart of fall and winter to mate, lay eggs, and bromate. In this video, we will detail the venomous rattlesnakes of California by presenting visuals and discussing key elements such as habitat and bite. We hope you enjoy this content and find it informative. The most common rattlesnake in California, the western rattler, is made up of three subspecies. For example, the western rattlesnake, Pacific rattlesnake, southern Pacific rattlesnake, and the great basin rattlesnake are all in the same subspecies of the same species. The western rattlesnake resides in virtually every corner of California. Whether it be water or mountainous terrain, the western doesn't seem to mind. The only place that is likely off limits to the western is the desert. Just like all rattlesnakes, the western is a pit viper. Known for its aggression, the western is highly dangerous and has highly toxic venom. Like all rattlesnakes, the western has long fangs, reaching an incredible four to six inches. With an ability to fold their fangs against the roof of their mouth, rattlesnakes can hide a good percentage of their impressive fangs. This is a form of protection to keep their fangs from becoming damaged. One of the best known rattlesnake species, the Western Diamondback, is not only found in the Golden State, but also the Southern United States, as well as Mexico. Due to its distinctive appearance and aggressive nature, you won't soon forget an encounter with a diamondback. As it relates to habitat, the Western Diamondback typically resides in the southernmost tip of California, around the Mojave Desert. These snakes are unique in some ways because of their ability to exist in a variety of environmental settings. They can easily adapt to various habitats. From forest to deserts to grasslands and rocky canyon areas, the western diamondback is at home in virtually any location. Their aggressive nature and ability to defend themselves is one of the biggest reasons why they're able to live just about anywhere. When it comes to bite, the western diamondback is believed to bite more people in the United States and Mexico than any other species, complete with hemotoxic venom. The western diamondback has the ability to destroy red blood cells, which makes it difficult for a victim to breathe following a bite. If medical attention is not received, a bite from the western diamondback can prove fatal. Snake number three on our list is the speckled rattlesnake. Not all that well known compared to the other snakes on our list, the speckled is just as nasty and just as deadly. Residing in the lower third of the state of California, the speckled has a rather large range in terms of existing within the Golden State. Generally speaking, the speckled prefers rocky terrain rather than the California coast. You can also find this snake residing in the shrubs or in the desert. When it comes to packing a punch, the speckled isn't all that known for its bite. Why? Lack of contact with humans. Although the speckled is very aggressive, they don't have much history with people at least not compared to the other snakes on our list. However, make no mistake, a bite from a speckled will land you in the emergency room. The Sidewinder Rattlesnake, also known as the Horned Rattlesnake, is one of the most interesting species around. The Sidewinder, as the picture suggests, earned its name based on its unique method of movement. Sidewinders reside in desert regions all across the southwestern portion of the United States, it is thought that their side winding motion could play a role in their desert habitat. By only keeping a small part of their body in contact with the ground, they're able to keep cool. This is important as snakes are cold blooded. In terms of bite, the side winder is a bit different in respect to potency. Although a pit viper, the side winder is not as venomous as other species. The side winder also has smaller venom glands, which means it can't deliver as much per bite. Having said that, the sidewinder is still serious business. A bite will require medical attention as soon as possible. 
It's said that a bite from a sidewinder feels like pouring hot oil on your skin. That right there should be enough to steer clear of this shifty rattler. Snake number five on our list is the Mojave Green Rattlesnake. Named after the place you can find it, or in this case, what it looks like, the Mojave sort of gets its name from both angles. Residing in California, Mexico, and other portions of the southwestern United States, the Mojave Green is often found in the Mojave Desert and blends with the sandy and rocky environment. When it comes to bite, the Mojave Green is quite toxic, even by pit viper standards. Complete with hemotoxic and neurotoxic properties, the Mojave Green's venom can damage muscle tissue, thereby attacking the heart, lungs, and various muscles throughout the body. Additionally, Mojave Green venom can also attack the nerves that connect the muscles to the brain. All of these elements can leave a Mojave's prey paralyzed. This snake can certainly pack a deadly bite. The final snake on our list of most venomous snakes in California is the red diamond rattlesnake. Out of all the species on our list, the red diamond is likely the closest you'll find to a big city. Residing between the Mojave Desert and the California coast, the red diamond is no stranger to Los Angeles and San Diego. When it comes to bite, the red diamond is the least potent of all rattlers. However, this only speaks to how much of a punch the other species possess. You can still die from a red diamond bite if medical attention is not received. However, with that said, sustaining a bite is unlikely. This is because red diamonds are a bit mild in demeanor. Less aggression equates to lesser odds of becoming a victim. Well, that was certainly quite a list. If you live in California, you're, you're likely all too familiar with these rattlers. Even if you're not a snake enthusiast, to all of our Cali residents and natives, we hope we did this topic justice. It's always important to have a healthy knowledge of snakes in your region, especially any and all snakes that can pack a deadly punch. It's important to know what you're potentially dealing with, not only for yourself, but also for your family, friends, and obviously, small children. From all of us here at SnakesForPets.com, we hope you enjoyed this content and found it informative. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best. And we hope you have a wonderful day.